Hello everybody and welcome to new MA tips. This time I want to show you a new feature which is called part modes in presets. As you remember, the last time we talked about different programmer parts. So we could have different parts in our programmer and store them directly into different queue parts. Now we go one step ahead with our parts. What we can find in the different preset pools is a setting which is called part mode. In the part mode, we can decide in which part our presets from that pool should automatically be stored when we store a new queue. Let's have a look at an example. So for my position preset pool, I decide that I want to store the positions always in a part number one. Let's move to our color preset pool. And in the color preset pool, I can do the same. But this time I want to store all the color presets in part number two. Let's create a small look. So I'm using the spots, for example. We bring them to full. Then they get a color, which is red. And I want to use a position preset, which is the middle. So now we store this directly in a new sequence. So I can say store and we have a new sequence over here and we can have a look at this sequence. What you can see is that we created a queue number one. So in the part zero in our default part will be the dimmer information we used and the position presets are stored automatically in a queue part one and the color preset, which is our red, is stored in part number two. Please also keep in mind that, of course, you can do this for the all preset pools as well. So think about having different phases in your all preset pools and you know that all the dynamic attributes, so all your phases, are always stored in a part number three in a queue. So this is a great feature to give some structure in your queues and to know where you can find which attributes later on. So please have a look at this. And stay tuned and see you next time for the MA Tips.